Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have missed you guys so much. I have been so busy with the crazy times going on right now. I know everyone has. Um, I haven't been so consistent on YouTube, but I'm getting back into it because I'm finally, things are slowing down. Um, as you guys can see, I'm in my house that is going to be put on the market here next week. Well, this coming week, it's Saturday. So Monday, it's supposed to go live which is very exciting. I was supposed to sell it back before the coronavirus happened, but it didn't end up working out that way because of the, well, we were under contract within three days and then the coronavirus hit and crazy times. That was back in March and now we're in September, but so many things have changed. Um, I'm so excited to show you guys a farm tour because during this whole pandemic and coronavirus, I have been working and busting my butt at the farm and making a lot of changes that you guys are going to be so surprised when you see it. I am out, um, I'm obviously gonna put out a video for you guys. You guys have been wanting to see my house where I live. As you can see, I'm in my living room. I'm recording from my couch with little Nell. Say hi, Benelli. So I'm very excited for my house to get on the market. Oh gosh, the shadows. Okay, we're good. I'm very excited for my house to get put on the market and sell it and fingers crossed, hopefully it sells sooner than later. Um, also, I'm still planning on moving closer to the farm. Wow, this shadow is just really bothering me. Let's see, can we fix it? Is that better? Okay, I have to maneuver myself over here, but that works. So um, I'm very excited for to be living closer to the farm because I live 11 miles away and traffic here in Gainesville is terrible. I literally live in the busiest part of town, um, which is a great location. I'm gonna miss it so much, but I, like I said, I'm so excited to live by my animals and have them in my backyard. And my new house is super cool. It has a barn in the backyard, it's six acres. And then across the street from the farm, the back entrance of it, we just purchased another property which is another six acres and it has a modular home on it. We just had to gut it and renovate it. I will show you guys videos of that. The shadow's just killing me. Sorry guys. Um, oh, perfect. Okay, kind of. We're just gonna go back and forth. <laughs> um, but I'm very excited to show you guys all that stuff and the updates of what's been going on. Um, you guys have been so great and following along with my story. I'm very appreciative of it. And if you guys have any questions, you know, go ahead and drop them in the comment box Let me get so I can get to them. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. How adorable is that? Such a rough life, bud. What a rough life. I swear, it is never a dull day at the farm. There's a big snake over here. Come capture it. It's in the horse pasture. So Mike, I'm making Mike come capture the snake because I don't want it in the horse pasture, but there is never a dull day at the farm. Ew, it's like shaking its head. It's so creepy. <laughs> I'm too terrified to pick it up. It's really slow. Well, I'll keep you guys posted with what's going on. But you know, just your average day at the farm. Okay, Suzanne's gonna try to come over and grab it. Mike is going to try to help. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, here comes Suzanne. Suzanne might Suzanne might be able to just capture it. She's not afraid. Uh. Spooky. Got it. Got it. No, 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 don't <laughs> Oh my god. Suzanne, we got you a new pet. How many snakes have you captured in the last week? He is big. How spooky is it? Oh my god. Ooh, yep. he's a good size one. Oh my He eats pretty well. Can we turn the net over? Yep. Where do you want me to take him? Take him home. I can take him home. 
home dog. Take him across the street. Like in the you know, yeah. Get him, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the horses. Well, I need more than this than the of man. Twist it. Eert, so spooky. Oh, so where's Jackie at? In the bedroom. Go wake her up. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I'm putting this inside. Well, I know. What do we do now? Doc, what would you do? Doc's like, I was just playing with it. Well, I need a pillowcase or something. Okay. Oh, come here. Come here. What is come here. It? Come here. Close your eyes. No. It's a surprise. Snake. <laughs> I found it in the pasture. No way. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not to me. It's the big one, too. <laughs> it is real. Oh my gosh. What do we do with it? Yeah, it's alive. Look at her face. What are we going to do with it? Look how cute the new baby bunnies are. Oh, his heart's beating just a million miles an hour. How adorable are they? Literally, I can watch them all day. They are so cute. Continue to watch us. Hold on. Three. How cute are they? Oh my goodness, hi baby. This is my favorite time of year with all the babies. Wanna hold him, mommy? Okay, we'll let him go. Hey, good boy. Don't let him go yet. You wanna hold him? <laughs> you gonna go? Go baby, go baby, go. Uh oh. We don't want you to go that way, can you fit? I don't think you can. Oh, the other way. Oh, the other way. And look, this is their home. Ready? Go in your home. Go, baby. Go. They all go under here. How cute. Go show me where your home's at, buddy. Go. While we are sitting here, that pasture's being seated, but look at the bunnies. How cute. That is Flake and then Oliver. Flake and Oliver. But me and Mama are still chillaxing. Say hi, Mama. I said say hi. She says hola. She doesn't know Spanish. She may sound convincing. So it looks like they're caged in, but we actually have a fence that goes around here so no animals can get them. Um, it's dug about two feet under, and Jackie decided to put carrots, which is a really cool idea. She's like, I like to watch them eat it, and how adorable. Oh. Baby goats, and they all had to be bottle fed, and they made up this little thing where they had all these bottles hanging along. And all how the cute goats. is this? All right, so we are on a trail right now. Like I said, I'm just gonna do random farm clips of like what we do throughout the day at the farm. And everyone, this is Jackie, my neighbor that lives at the farm, and she. Droopy. You guys have met Droopy. Jackie, tell me a funny story at the farm. A funny story at the farm. You have to talk loud. I'm trying to think, what can I tell her? I don't know, what's something funny? I'm lost, I can't stop for a minute. I'm just saying, <laughs> I there's so many. I'm I know. Cool. Take two, funny story. I know, I don't know right now. Well, Jackie's usually really funny too. Well, let's see, got run over by a stallion. I've been stepped on by a big quarter horse. Are horses fun to work with? especially when Henry just comes and puts his front hooves on your shoulders. Yeah, and Henry's the baby, that is Little Bit's baby, that you guys are going to see a video of him in the round pen. That Angelica is riding Kojak, and she's working him in the round pen because we've been trying to break him. Um, I'm on Spirit. Angelica's on Kojak. Jackie's on Droop Dog. I can't think of any funny stories right now. All right, we'll do take three and... Yeah, when she comes up with something funny. <laughs> So remember guys, he's only a year old. Oh, and we're still trying to teach him how to lunge in the round pen. And me being here, he's doing really well when I wasn't close. Keep it going, bud. Nope. How cute is he though? If you guys ever watched that one video where it's like, almost being trampled by a Clyde Still baby. This was him and Angelica playing a, a year ago. 
literally a year ago from this video and look how massive he is. Henry, you're doing so good. Keep it going. Me standing close to him is definitely not helping him or helping Angelica, but. <laughs> Go, bud. No, you're not done. Isn't he massive? So funny, you guys should have seen him like two weeks ago. This horse wouldn't even move in here. He would just trample you. Look how cute, what a nice mover too. A year old. He's got the crazy Appaloosa eyes though. Fran, stand next to him. I wanna show how, here, let me get, look how big he is. He's only a year old. Angelica, how tall are you? Five two. Five, five two. Five. <laughs> he is so big, though. I can't wait to see how big he's going to develop to be. Hi, buddy. So right now, like I said, you guys are seeing what we do at the farm during the day. I'm going to do our Kojak. With panic here. Um, I do wear him every two months. He takes it really easy and big on. Then I just hold his head up. Oh, look at it. <laughs> He's literally so good at this. He is. Wait. For like a minute. Oh, yeah. He's looking at the one. Yeah, I'll do the one. So, right now, during this month, we're deworming. Alright guys, right now I'm going to show you my goat Kramer. He was born on the farm about in June, so he's about a year and a half. He's actually super sick right now. Um, he has coccidia, so he's away from all the other goats, but he's in a stall. This is the stall he was born in. He's on a lot of medication right now. I will show you guys videos of that. He's actually doing a lot better than he was about two days ago. Um, we didn't think he was going to make it, but he's doing better. We have oak leaves. Okay, and he's just really not doing well, but I will be devastated if something happens to him. Um, he just got his medicine. I should have recorded it, but I didn't. So I'm just loving on him and letting him sit in the stall for a little bit and cool off. He is a La Mancha goat, his little ears. Um, just please say a prayer for him. I would literally be devastated if anything happened to my poor baby. But he's doing a lot better than he was, so. But in the stall, we have oak leaves for him. Trees. Um, we have coastal hay, his water, some goat grain, and then a little bit of alfalfa and more oak leaves. And just say, we just want to get better. And we're going to hang on, aren't we, baby? My poor baby. And then Jackie's back in here. We have little Tilly. I am going to try to 
unmat this tail. Don't ask how it happened. Um, I hate, oh, and there goes Doc. Jackie, I don't think you locked the gate. You hear me? Look who just came over. <laughs> oh, he actually has a ball on him. Or wait, no, the gate was open. So, Droopy's out in the pasture, Doc's right there. Um, Doc actually has to walk around. I don't know if you guys have seen my videos in the past, but Doc jumps all the fences at the farm and literally makes his way around the neighborhood. So he has a ball that we have him carry. You can see his chain, but he knocked the ball off. He does that a lot. But Doc pretty much runs the roost of the farm and does whatever he wants. We always say Doc just doesn't care. <laughs> but he's been here for over two years and we just love our Docky. Y'all just check out this tail though. Does this not give you anxiety? I don't know how it happened. Um, they're horses, it's unfortunate, but I will show you guys my remedy, what I'm gonna use, and give me about, I would say it's probably gonna take me about 10 minutes to do this, but we're gonna start with coconut oil, yay. All right, I just fine sprayed him. We're gonna start with the coconut oil. Okay guys, as you guys can see, this is all that I cut off the tail. I braided each section when I was done doing it, or done brushing through it, so I didn't want it to get tangled. Again, but I'm gonna unravel it and show you guys I am the tail doctor. Um, they're horses, they get knotty tails, just like we get knotty hair. I mean, I'm not the best with brushing my own hair, so. But, Jackie just had a cough attack, but it's okay. Um, so as you guys can see, I am the tail doctor. Back to what I was saying. It's all groomed and it took us about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna cut it to where it's even, so it can go out. And voila, we're done. It looks beautiful. Good, right? What a cute little pony. See, I'm a little chunky. My winter coat's coming in, but he looks so good. And Jackie. Are you happy? Thank it's done. Kojak's so like, good job. <laughs> I know. I told Jackie if she did it herself, it would probably take her three hours. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like the tail doctor. Only to Clydesdale. But it looks so good. And you did so good too. Hi, my sweet boy. It happens though. Unfortunately, they're horses and we can't monitor them 24 7. But that's. I snipped this off. This is like what I snipped off in the beginning. And then I snipped that to make it even. And this came from the brush. So we did pretty good. So you guys can obviously see having a horse farm is not always the funnest, but um, it's work and I love it. It's really not work to me. So technically it may look like work to you guys, but not really to me. Um, I'm under the pergola. We have this really cute little pergola at the farm. I don't know if you guys have seen it in the past, but I got a roof added to it. We have really cute solar lights and a little lounge area with the tiny house and then our fire pit area. But like I said, I still need to do the farm tour for you guys. But it's a beautiful day here in Archer, Florida. And I look really good. Obviously, I've been at the farm since like eight this morning. Um, but I love it. Jackie's now going back to working with Texas. And the horse is in the pasture grazing. Um, this is the center pasture. And then over here, if you guys can see, those pastures were just seeded. Don't mind the rugs. There's a constant work in progress, this farm is. But 
it's so much fun and i hope you guys enjoy these videos and a little bit of my life and how i spend my days at the farm well, we've been lunging in for about five minutes actually probably 10 whoa easy whoa trot good boy So we are just trotting him and making him work out. Um, as you guys can't see, but on the inside of his eye, the left side, he has a cloudy eye. He is blind in it. But we're gonna go ahead and ask him to pick up the canter. Good boy. How cute is he? Good boy. We already did the left side. I mean the right side, so he's on his left side right now going. Don't drop it. Before I forget, I'm going to take this back. I'm going to ride him. Oh, I didn't ask you. Go back. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong way. Where are you going? Whoop, whoop. Little one. Peanut, we're going back the other way. You don't make the rules here, bud. Easy. Turn around. I didn't ask you that way. I don't have the line drip. Go. Good boy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and ask him to slow down and come to me. Whoa, ho, oh, oh. ho, oh, ho, buddy, ho. Oh. We'll cut him off over here. Ho, oh, easy. Come on. Ho, oh, come to me. Good boy, come here. You did so good. You little chunky monster. Oh, we'll, we'll let him just okay. now. Okay, can you come to me? Easy. Texas, you're so cute. I mean, clearly my channel is very entertaining. What do you think about it, Boo? Do you like it? How much you love it? Watch. Wait, what's it? Oh my gosh, how cute. I just got on camera. Bunny cam, cat cam. Do you guys wanna see my like little friends I did so her babies don't get murdered by the cat? Sounds bad to say that, but it happens unfortunately. Um, I don't know why, cause he's grown up around them. But as you guys can see, the night shift's going good. Um, a horse was shaved here, <laughs> so don't judge that. At our little hangout area. Let's see if I can capture a baby bunny for you guys. No bunnies. We just fed them all. See, I literally added stone throughout the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing, but I added stone back here because the cat was digging. Everyone look at Tilly. Till. Oh my gosh. Cat fight. Are you serious? Tilly. I've never seen Tilly be mean. I cannot believe I just caught that on camera. Um, that is actually the neighbor's cat, which is really mean and comes and steals the food I see on the barn cams that he does that. But Tilly, Tilly, psst, get over here. You're not supposed to be mean. You were not raised like that. Holy crap, guys, that was terrible. But obviously cats protect their turf. <laughs> and this is Tilly's turf. <laughs> Jackie's still gonna, oh. Right there. I told you it's because she never cleaned these. Yeah. Well, guys, the night shift's been really nice. The weather's beautiful. <laughs> I'm about to lay a pile of fire ant stuff because it really works well. But oh my goodness! Well, wait. Let's just kill them first. Yeah, these mats are never usually here. It's usually a lot cleaner here, but you guys are able to see like full farm shift and act. But let all these guys die. No one likes ants. Sometimes I feel bad when I kill you guys, but after that, I'm definitely going to have my feet eaten alive. And then there's Tilly, looking like she's trying to fight to lose. Like, what's going on? Guys, this is supposed to be a fun farm shift. Ranger and Little, they're like lovers. 
remember a little bit is she is due in six months and Ranger is just her baby. Not really, but her baby's over there eating on Larson's block with Kojak that just got attacked by ants. And the farm is really muggy out right now. Guys, don't mind that because it's going to be painted. But at nighttime, it's really pretty. It's really lit up. Um, but yeah, the night shift's going good besides the fire ants. Um, new fire pit that me and Frangelica just picked up. Charlie hanging out, but we haven't used it yet. But eventually we will when it gets cooler out. But everyone's very peaceful. Tilly's still looking to protect her turf. Tilly! Psst. Psst. Tilly! Till! Doesn't care. What'd you just say? I don't want the cat to kill the bunnies. I wish I could. I know, but honestly, the bunnies have been doing pretty well. Um. Doesn't what? It look oh, and I was Angelica's like, Spirit looks really clean. Tomorrow, me and Spirit have a photo shoot. <laughs> look how pretty and clean he looks. And then, hi, baby. Oh, little scratch in your face. It happens, guys. But look how clean you look, Spear. Spear, come here. Let's show off your uh, three days of cleaning. Charlie, no, Oh, my goodness. You look so handsome. Hi, baby. Are you enjoying your day? Tomorrow we'll get to your face. Oh, what a sweet face. Hi, baby. I love you too, Bam. So at nighttime, this is a farm lit up. Without the flash, it's kind of dark, but it should be. So you come through here. This is the back entrance of the barn. At nighttime, Docky in a stall. The ring is over there, you guys can't probably see. And then, how cute is this pergola lit up? I'll do it with the flash so you guys can see as well. This is the farm lit up at the night. This is a little bit. This little thing is in the way. Hi, mama. I'm trying to show them the barn at night. You can't really see because of flash, but it's really cute. The pergola is lit up. The restroom's over there. The she shed. Spirits turned in the front feed room to loose Jackie The rompins over there the ring and then pastures But You guys can see the barn at nighttime Docky and his stall The hay room horse stall is ready for the morning And then this is the back entrance to the farm So it's kind of lit up at night, but not too much because we don't want the horses to be lit up at night and we want them to sleep. Hey, Jackson. Hey. <laughs> beautiful night. Isn't it beautiful? It's the first night of like we feeling, we're actually it's feeling, autumn. yeah. Isn't it, it I mean, it feels like it, right? Oh, horses love it. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh-uh. Go. 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 Very beautiful. Yeah. Do you like what you're watching? <laughs> so Maj is in the sun right now. <laughs> but we are reminiscing and discussing. The land with no fences. Do you remember who built this farm? Oh, you did. Do you remember? I was your slave, but you built it. But is it not crazy to look at this? Because I was asking mom today. I was like, mom, when you're watching me do the farm tonight, did you look at it and like imagine like, I bought six acres, y'all six acres and there was nothing besides a fence and a well and i built everything i made this whole thing so that's crazy is it not look at my little toulouse my little nail my mama and what did i tell you mom mom would be like i'm scared of, what would i tell you just touch the i was like stop being a baby and her favorite horse is a little bit over there tilly's laying there i didn't dump manure i know but a little bit is it not crazy though, mom? It is crazy. It's three years. High five me in the air. Ready? One, two, three. High five. High five. <laughs> Pretty, wild. Pretty wild. Well, guys, how cute were those clips? Um, I know it wasn't like the most organized video, but I just figured I would show you guys some fun things that have been going on and the situations at the farm and how everyone is. But if you guys... She's panty. She's so cute. Um... If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, 
And yeah, come back and watch more videos. And like I said, leave comments so I can know what to upload for you guys and what you guys would like to see.